Oh man, it's the grab bag. I really wish that I liked this show more because there's a lot of people who, online who really, really rate this as like one of the best shows that's currently out. And yet, when I watch it, I don't actually find it all that funny. Um, I just finished season two and I'm still kind of like, meh, it's okay, it could be better. There's a lot of things that it has for interesting writing, but it doesn't really do much for me. For the most part, I really like bizarre humor, and i watched a lot of different things that are bizarre humor. Cromartie High School, for example, and this falls into the bizarre humor comedy, but I don't really find it as funny as I was hoping I would. Um, I do like the world building. There are certain parts of the writing I really like, and the election episode was top notch, and I'll get more into that in a little bit. But overall, it's been eh, but it's pretty interesting. They're getting old, older YouTubers, and by older I mean people who have been on YouTube for several years, to come in and do voices and characters. Um, and I do appreciate that part because it is pretty neat seeing people who you might not always see pop up in these shows. Case in point, uh, Joel Haver. Uh, if you haven't seen his channel, he does a lot of uh, excellent comedy, and his stuff, in my opinion, is a bit funnier than what you see on Smiling Friends. And I know I'm not trying to bash Smiling Friends, because it's not bad, it's just, I don't think it's as funny as people think it, like they're trying to tell me it is. Um, and that's kind of sad, but I didn't hate the show, but I don't really love it as much as I want to. The best episode of the season, in my opinion, is the election episode. Um, mainly because it kind of pokes fun at the United States elections. And I thought it was probably one of the funnier episodes of this whole show. And the fact that it doesn't matter whether you're Republican or Democrat, you can kind of see issues with the election and see how it's portrayed in the show. And they did a very good job roasting, basically, both parties with this. Whether you want to say that um, President Jimbal is uh, Biden or Trump, or Mr. Frog is Trump or Biden or whatever, the main point is that this was kind of roasting both sides, showing how easy it is for a president of the United States to just be a complete idiot. Um, and I found that part pretty fun because it just roasted everybody and roasted the election, roasted the people who vote and everything. And that was overall really good, especially because it really didn't say either side was good or bad. They just simply roasted everybody. Um, so that was something I appreciated from this. Overall... Season 2, I don't think was quite as good as Season 1, and I'm not overall gigantically impressed, but I don't hate it, I just don't love it either. Thanks for watching this far. Maybe you could like, comment, or subscribe. It would really help the channel.